Mozart is that rarest freak of nature, a child prodigy who actually grows up to outstrip his potential and become an even greater adult genius. This is his first symphony, composed when he was eight. Mozart is brilliant across every form of music he tried. Symphonic, opera, keyboard, chamber, string quartet, everything Mozart wrote came with an artistry, invention, wit and beauty. Mozart was the only person who could compose a wind serenade without even scoring for flutes. He composed effortlessly. I compose, he once wrote, as a sow piddles. Unlike any of his predecessors, he hardly ever recycled his own material. He didn't need to. If he needed something quickly, he just composed something new. He could compose any time and anywhere. He penned his 12 horn duets one evening in the bowling alley. To see the flow of his genius, just look at his composing manuscripts, so different from those of the more temperamental Beethoven. This is genius at its most natural, consistent and flowing. And to top it all, he was probably the greatest melodist ever to have lived. Mozart approaches the perfect, but it always feels a very earthly, human form of perfect. As the theologian Karl Barth once said, It may be that when the angels go about their task praising God, they play only Bach. I am sure, however, that when they're together as a family, they play Mozart. If Mozart had only written church and instrumental music, he would already be one of the very greatest of composers. But his absolute mastery of opera, an art form which requires an understanding of story, stage drama, comedy, not to mention the huge panoply of human emotions, well, that puts him up in a league all of his own. Mozart was really the first composer to use the orchestra's instrumentation, and not just the singing, to personalise the emotions of his characters. Figaro, Don Giovanni, Cosi Van Tutti, Seraglio, these are among the greatest operas ever written, and they show an ease of dealing with drama, comedy, grief, um, bird themed romantic comedies. Mozart could do everything. It's a range that puts him at the level of a Shakespeare or a Dickens. Mozart had a breadth fed by a lifetime of travelling, from an early age touring the castles and palaces of emperors and kings. He spoke many languages and picked things up easily, including musical styles from Paris, Italy, Germany, wherever they had travelled. Yes, he was a child of genius, but he just kept getting better and better the more he composed. And then... Dead. At only 37. As Tom Lehrer said, It's a sobering thought. When Mozart was my age, he'd been dead for two years. It's remarkable how much Mozart managed in such a short lifetime. 41 symphonies, 18 string quartets, 27 amazing piano concertos, 12 operas. All of these very good, most of them brilliant. And then just before he dies, he writes an amazing requiem mass. One of the very best, from his deathbed. They should make a film about that one day. Mozart was many things. Child prodigy, husband, brother, father, Freemason, rake, workaholic, intellectual. His work oozes with this breadth. Mozart's great successor in Italian opera, Rossini, said, I take Beethoven twice a week, Haydn four times, but Mozart every day. Mozart is adorable. A true child of the Enlightenment and a believer in the human spirit, Mozart was a composer who had a philosophy on life he expressed through his music, the power of beauty and love. Long live love in